Hi, SuperSpruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video of episode 4, and looks like I have gotten a total of 310 mega parsecs, and this will allow me to reach universal collapse. And this is reset all previous progress to gain one cadavers, or cadavers. I'm just gonna call it cadavers, because that's what it looks like to me. And that will make time go faster so yeah that's i'm gonna reset everything just to make just to get this it makes time go 50 percent faster and then there's this achievement but still really i mean i keep my automation stuff so okay that that's nice but still really that's what i i get a whole other prestige layer just so i can get slightly more so just for a small boost like that, I, I, don't, I don't really like that, but whatever. I still keep my automation stuff, which is nice. I can upgrade this, and yeah, it, it looks like um, can I, I can probably gain rockets as I can. So yeah, that will help things. I now have two rockets, so now boosting it, log X plus one to the one power. So yeah, and all I have to do is reach one light year to unlock time reversal. That shouldn't be too bad, especially rank 11, I can probably reach rank 12, or I can just gain like six rockets, and then that's gonna do better. Also, I like how clean this is. This is just log x plus one squared. So I'm guessing it's probably some sort of, like this, this x one is probably logarithmic. Like it's like something like maybe two gives a one, um, eight gives two, maybe 32 gives Three, or maybe it's double logarithmic, who knows. But anyway, I'm up to tier four, which should definitely help things. I also got a bunch of other achievements, like reach tier five, which means the rank requirement formula is 2.5% slower, so that should definitely help things. And how close am I to a light year? I'm not very close, but I can gain enough rockets to get one rocket fuel. So, and also I got rocket fuel at the wrong time, which means it's gonna be even harder. Great. So, yeah, I, I gotta stop doing that. I, I really gotta stop doing that. Because this is, like, where it's actually really slow to gain rockets. So, okay, I, I can gain one rocket. That's That'll help things a little bit. And then once I start, I can probably get, like, three or four rockets. And then I can pretty easily get 125 rockets from there. So, still a lot of time reversal unlocked. But, I get, yeah, it's still okay. And you can see, just this is the... Um, best ever velocity and acceleration, and yeah, what do I need? Okay, I should be able to get a couple more rockets this way. Time speed is still four times, so it does does definitely help. And I can get yeah, five rockets. Now things should actually go at a reasonable pace. Like I, could, I should probably be able to pretty easily reach tier four. Here it is. All I need is eight gigameters or eight billion meters. And there's tier four. I can, I think I can get, yeah, rank 13 very easily. Allowing me to get, I'm probably just gonna push all the way to 125 rockets just because I'm, I'm pretty close to getting there. And then it'll be super easy from there to be able to do another run so that it, I'll get decent rockets. And then I can reset my rockets to get a rocket fuel. So here we go. I, um, I'm getting, I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna do the same mistake I did last time. Easy tier four, and yeah, I can probably get a lot of rockets here, but I'm gonna do this, and I just have more rockets than I had before. And this should easily allow me to reach time reversal. So actually, this seems pretty bad. Actually, it's better than before. Interesting. And then if I want, I can sacrifice all my cadavers into life essence. Um, time goes by 100%, 100 times faster, but this gets weaker the further you go, minimum two times. So, okay, interesting. Not sure if I really want that, because it's 2.5 times faster. This currently says eight times faster. I'm not really sure. I'm, 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 real, I'm really not sure what I should try to go for here. I may want to just go for time reversal, Really not sure. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get another rocket fuel and more rockets. And 
Yeah, I think yeah, it's the further you go like in distance. And I think it's better to to keep this 2.55 or 2.56 times faster rather than have this one because it will it will start yeah, it'll get nerfed like the farther I go and I sort of don't want that. And I'll and I'm close to a light year now. All I need is is about um 10 quadrillion meters, about like 3 quadrillion meters and yeah, you can see, am I almost, almost there? Boom, time reversal. That means I can reverse time and get some time cubes. And this should, yeah, it's giving me a bunch of free rocket fuel. And um, not only that will help things, just yeah, getting getting these upgrades will help a lot. Especially the time goes by log n plus one times faster, where n is your time cubes. Because, yeah, this is going to be like a three times time speed boost and probably also getting the 1000 time cubes is another good thing to go for so right rank re rank requirement formula is 10 percent slower that's actually pretty overpowered and i'm already getting 100 time cubes every second if i want i could just wait 15 seconds to get another it's just time cube gain is increased so maybe i shouldn't go for that except i'm so close that i will actually get it so yeah this will this means I'm going to be getting 250, almost 300 time cubes per second, which is, yeah, that's pretty fast. And, yeah, I'm probably just going to bring time back to normal, and let's see what my time speed is. It's 19 times, which is pretty crazy. And this is up to 2.6 times faster, and I can gain E4 rockets. I'd, I'm going to definitely try to get more rocket fuel like this, and... I think I the max I went up to was six, so yeah. the the next The next mechanic here is reach 2.5 e5 cadavers to unlock pathogens. So yeah, that, I think I think that's like another prestige. I'm not sure, but I've, I've, heard, I've heard of pathogens like that mechanic. I guess I can just look at these upgrades. But the thing is, yeah, I, I can get another rocket fuel. I'm I'm gaining rockets faster than ever before, I think, and, yeah, 11 or 12 parsecs per second, so I should pretty easily be able to get the sixth rocket fuel, especially with the automation. It does take a while for this automation stuff, like, and special, especially the intelligence. Unfortunately, it's 0 0.7 per second, so, yeah, that's... That's, that's going to take a while to reach. But anyway, looks like I can get E5 rockets because, yeah, tier 5. So, I actually haven't really seen these. Um, the Tier 6 is reset your ranks, but quintuple your acceleration. Interesting. But this, just tier 5 alone is going to allow me to get, yeah, 2.9. I, I got two E5 rockets in a single run. So, yeah, that's pretty overpowered. Definitely want to go up to tier 5. And this could allow me to reach, possibly reach, um, 7 rocket fuel. And maybe with just all these tiers and ranks, I could be able to get a lot more time cubes than before. And start getting stuff like this. Time goes by 5% faster for every achievement gotten. That's a 4 times boost to just speed. So, yeah, that's pretty overpowered, not overpowered, but it's powerful, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go up to, I think I want to just get about a million rockets here, and that should definitely um, give me a good boost to production, that, I I don't think I can get any more cadavers until I get, like, a lot, like, 50 mega parsecs or something like that, so, unfortunately, it is gonna get a little slower here, I could try to reverse time, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Reverse time, let's see, yeah, 13, 1400 time cubes per second. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm actually going to push all the way up to 4E4 time cubes because this upgrade is probably a lot better than these. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this because this will allow me to get a lot more time cubes after this. So, yeah, that will allow me to get the other upgrade. So, here we go. 5,000, 6,000 um, time cubes per second. Could even try to get all of these upgrades because, 
yeah, like rank bots interval proves its magnitude. I could try to get that. It doesn't seem like the best thing. Tier bots interval and boost its magnitude, but not as strongly. And then rocket gain is increased by 10% for every order of magnitude of time cubes and it soft caps after a while. So I guess I'll, I'm just gonna get this and then I probably want this rocket gain is increased by 10% for every order of magnitude. Yeah, that, that's pretty powerful. And it sh I should be pretty easily able to reach all of the other upgrades here. It's just gonna take maybe 10 seconds for this and 20 seconds for that. And probably not even, I'm not even gonna get them until I can afford both of them like at once because when I get it, the time cube per second will go down and I just wanna get it as quick as possible. So this is about two E5 time cubes. And then after this, actually I do wanna push a few more time cubes just to get more rocket fuel and just more everything. So I may push up to three E5 time cubes and then get both of these upgrades. And yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty powerful. And that will give me an achievement. Gotta buy them all. It's this one. Time goes by 50% faster. That's actually quite a quite a good upgrade there. So this will allow me to gain 7.5 E5 rockets in a single run. So yeah, it looks like I'll be able to get seven rocket fuel from that, which is pretty powerful. And and it can quickly get like five E5 rockets, which is insane. So anyway, seven rocket fuel, except I'll probably be able to get even more. Than that. Or I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, if, or I will be able to get to eight, but I'm not sure if it's worth it to try to push to eight rocket fuel. There's not actually much I can do here. Actually, there is something I can do here another universal collapse reset. And yeah, that's gonna be, I, I think I'm pretty close to enough distance to get that. I think I need like 50 mega parsecs and it, that'll only take a minute at this current rate. So that's what I'm gonna go for. And here it is, reset all previous progress to gain one more cadaver. But I think before I do that, I think the best thing to do is Sacrifice all your cadavers into life essence. And then I can get this upgrade. Actually, I it looks like you don't even buy it. it. Just get it automatically. And then reset all previous progress to gain one cadaver. And this should make the early part of the run go a lot. Actually, maybe I can sacrifice all my cadavers into life essence like this. I'm actually going to export my save. Because if I do that, even though this like this two and a half times boost will go to one times. I get a five times boost to time. So yeah, that's gonna easily be able to get me quite a lot of rockets here and just a lot of rocket fuel. Like I'm, I'm getting I'm getting these first few rocket fuel like it's nothing. So yeah, like I'm, I, I'm not even, I don't even have time reversal and it's still super easy. And once I actually reverse time, it's probably gonna be even easier. I'm gonna be able to get all these upgrades extremely quickly. So yeah, it's gonna be even quicker than before just because of the time boost. So yeah, actually it's best to just not get any of these upgrades and then just get them all at once. And in total, it costs about 4.5 E5 time cubes. And now I have enough time cubes for all that. So boom, this is definitely a lot faster just because of 1000 time speed. It does go down a little bit, but that's okay. Because, yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of rocket fuel here. That wasn't the best idea to do it right there, but whatever. It's not as serious as before. And I'll easily be able to reach seven rocket fuel. So, yeah, there it is. I'm not exactly sure what I should do after this. I should probably just go for another cadaver because that will make time go even faster than it already is. So you know, let's see, I, I'm actually gonna quickly reach 50 mega parsecs. I, I just need, yeah, there's a rank up here, which which helps increase the speed that I, yeah, I go. And then that will allow me to get one more cadaver. There's also to start with 10 rockets on reset, but that's not really worth it to go for. I, I, I really don't think it's worth it to to get to sacrifice like a 2.5 or 2.5 times time speed for a, for for just that. So 
yeah. Um, just keep doing this, get, get more rocket fuel. Um, hopefully there'll be automation for the rocket fuel. I, I, I feel like there eventually will be. Like maybe not now, but like, yeah, eventually. And yeah, these upgrades are gonna be even easier to get than before. And they were already easy to get. I'm getting 20,000 time cubes per second. So now it takes even less time to get everything else. Actually, I, yeah, that upgrade makes it so it's 100,000 time cubes every second. So I could probably go all the way up to a million time cubes. So yeah, here we go. A million time cubes. This will allow me to get a ton of rockets which means a ton of rocket fuel and yes easy seven rocket fuel and i think what i'm gonna do this is up to 2.7 times i think what i'm gonna do i'm going to do another sort of overnight session and let's see how far i'm gonna be able to go i, I think i'll be able to get a bunch of cadavers i don't think it's worth it to try to get the life essence i'm noticing this there is this unlock fuel bot and then the cadaver gain is also boosted by time cube. So that will be interesting. I feel like that will just be next episode. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.